Well, most schools across Arizona are already back in class virtually with students and their teachers connecting through technology. But not all has been smooth sailing. One Valley school hit a major obstacle this week when one of their online classrooms was hacked. Here's Team 12's Colleen Sakura with more. It wasn't the memorable first day of the fall semester legacy traditional schools had hoped for. School leaders say a student there was able to hack one of their virtual classrooms and shared with the other middle schoolers an adult video clip. They wrote in this statement, we regret that one of our students used a fake email address Wednesday to gain entry to a virtual classroom where the student momentarily shared an inappropriate video before the teacher intervened. Ken Colburn of Data Doctors says he expects more stories like this. Yeah, for the most part, you can kind of expect that we're going to see more stories like this, um, primarily because we're putting people that are not really tech savvy in charge of technical processes. Colburn believes that teachers and administrators of schools will be challenged this year with having to become fluent in skills that right now may seem foreign to them. If they're going to put technology as the as the way to interact uh, with the students, they have to teach the teachers how to properly manage it. Legacy Traditional Schools says they have taken measures to make sure they're not hacked again with enhanced cybersecurity measures. Ken's top advice for schools is this. So the best thing that any teacher can do is A, make sure that they have total control over who joins. Colleen Sakura, 12 News. Ken also says that it's important that parents make sure that their children know not to ever share an invite to an online classroom that could give someone access to the class that doesn't belong.